This time, Dr. Oliphant explores the rules of attraction. A force of attraction. What a revolting spectacle. I do hope you're not pulling that out of your sporran. A can of carbonated drink. How vulgar. Uh, surely now isn't the time for refreshment. Looks like we have an inflated balloon to add to this mix. Make sure it is tightly sealed at the end. Oh, Dr. Otherford, must you bear so much flesh? I understand. It's a hairy area, so you can commence vigorous balloon rubbing. A lot of vigorous rubbing. Oh, how magical! Your leg rubbing antics have resulted in attracting the can. Negatively charged electrons move from the hair onto the balloon. More will be transferred the more hairs touch it. Bringing the balloon close to the can repels the electrons inside it, and because the can conducts electricity, they move to the far side. This leaves the side of the can closest to the balloon positively charged. There is now a force of attraction between the near surfaces of the balloon and the can as opposite charges attract. The can moves towards the balloon. Don't rub too much, though. You may start to attract all sorts of things. <laughs> 